it is a year to the next election, the Democrats, they are still beating that drum, keep saying that the middle class is struggling. Watch this. This campaign is about more than defeating Trump. This campaign is about transforming this country and creating a government, creating a government and an economy that works for all of us. Why is it that America's middle class is being hollowed out? But look at where we are now. The middle class is hurting today. The middle class is shrinking. The middle class is shrinking. Well, look at this headline. Grover Norquist, middle class Americans faring better than ever during Trump. Okay, who's right here? Because Grover Norquist joins us right now here in New York City. Welcome to the Big Apple, son. Good to be here. Okay, make your case. The Democrats say the middle class is hurting. You say not. Go. Okay, during the eight years of uh, Bush plus the eight years of Obama, uh, 16 years, the average, the median income family unit uh, got a $1,000 raise. The median income went up 1000 In the last two and a half years, under Trump and the Republicans, it went up by 4000 That's why people were so grumpy going into the 2016 election. $1,000 increase in the annual, not up to $65,000 a year for the mi absolute middle household income in real dollars, okay? So it's gotten a lot better. You've seen the numbers about unemployment down, general wages down, but absolute middle is moving in the right direction. So that's your concrete statistic. Yeah. That is $65,000 a year is the median household income. Up 4,000 since the president came in, and it had been growing very, very slowly, 1,000 over 16 years. Not, not 16,000, 1,000 total. Remember, we're down, up, down, up, down, up, but only up 1,000 over the 16 years. Okay. The challenge now, this, so it's pretty good for the middle income yeah. uh, voter, pretty good performance citizen right now, years, yeah. but there's a very real danger. Because the only way to get the kind of cash that Elizabeth Warren or Biden or Saunders, they, they basically have the same programs. They're going to spend tens of billions of dollars on a whole series of things and turn us into something like France or Germany or some okay. European country. Right. Uh, let you me, get that money out of the middle class only. Okay, let me go through this because yeah. it looks to me like Elizabeth Warren is going to be the nominee for the Democrats. I'd bet that now, way. I don't know whether she wins or loses, but let me just make an assumption. Let me suggest... If she wins, mm -hmm. becomes the president, and can get what she wants through the Senate, even though it may, who knows about that, yeah. but let's suppose she's elected, she gets what she wants, what does she do to the middle class? She'll do two things. She'll say, look over here, I'm going to have a wealth tax, so, and then while you do that, she'll put in a, a carbon tax, an energy tax, which hits the middle class, and that turns into a VAT, because at the end of the day, you're not going to just tax energy. Wait a minute, a VAT? I mean, value-added tax. Carbon the European, tax? Every European country has a like value a sales tax. tax. Yeah, at every level of production, and it gets to be about 20%. It's the difference between Europe and the United States. They have a VAT, we don't. They pay higher income taxes in the middle income people and way higher sales tax, value added tax. That's how you become a European but social welfare you state. You think that Elizabeth Warren's principal vehicle for going at the middle class mm -hmm. and its money carbon is tax. a carbon tax. Step one. Step two, that. Step two is a value-added tax, like in Europe. I can tell you that I remember in Britain when the VAT was introduced, mm. everybody said, OK, well, we'll tax consumption, but we won't be taxing income tax very, very much. That was the exact opposite of what happened. We went up to a 20% VAT on everything, and income taxes went up as well. Every European country that adopted a VAT saw all of its taxes increase more rapidly after that than before. So it just makes the government bigger and stronger and more hungry. It does indeed. Grover, great to see you in New York. Don't be such a stranger up here. I'll be back. It's not totally hostile territory, you know. <laughs> I live in D.C. for crying out loud. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Mr. Norquist, thank you for being here. All right.